Hi, um, part three of my DVD Blu-ray collection. Um, same as the last. Quick flick through whether I liked it or not. Would I buy it again if I had to? Um, would I watch it again if we had to? Um, followed by quick clips, pictures of the covers, etc. On it. Um, this one is my Saw films. I haven't got Saw 7 yet because I didn't get round to it. Um, typical horror films, favourites of mine. Blood and Guts, typical um, game type ones in that they've got puzzles to do to get out of a building. Each one tends to follow the same story. So many of them, character, jigsaw, kidnaps a group of people, puts them in the house, does all tricks, puzzles, everything, gorier, gorier as they go on. Um, got part one, start them off, it's got Danny Glover in. Um, this gives you the first bit of how it starts off as such. Uh, they end up in the house. I'd say out of all of them, probably the first ones are the best. As you get further on into the series, because you've got the first one for special, second one, um, the detective, Donny Wahlberg. Watch it basically because of him for this one. Um, carries on. It's all like basically the same series as he wants, do they want to play a game? Got to eventually get out. Uh, Saw 3 does exactly the same as it says. Uh, I'd probably say this one to me is not my most favourite. The film's supposed to be extreme editions. I do like the blood and guts which is what you get Got them on deals. This one, uh, I think this would have to be one of the least in that you think it's the, the end of it and it's all over. Once you get to these, you, if you know the story, you know the story, you know how it's going to end up as it comes to it. So five, um, the detective that's in the thing in the last films. He supposedly is carrying it on and taking it all along. Then you've got Saw 6, which to me as well was one of the most goriest. Some good special effects in them. If you like horrors, if you like blood, gore, guts, eh, you'll enjoy these films worth getting. If you don't, don't buy them. Uh, that's the end of my video. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Watch the next two if you like. Bye.
here. We don't have any seconds to spare, Lynn. The woman standing in front of me had to be dragged from the locker room to put a chest tube in a trauma patient? Lynn Denlon should have been the first one there. Lynn! Lynn! rectangular transection to the left occipital. Some kind of backdoor brain surgery. Hey, don't move. What 
you do to me? I didn't do anything. Jigsaw. I knew this was gonna happen to me. This is what he does. No, it's not Jigsaw. He's dead. Haven't you watched TV lately? Yeah, well, whoever it is. They're watching us. Make sure we follow the rules. Which are what? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Unless you want your head to pop off like a dandelion. How do you know that? Because I have eyes. One pull pin starts the timer for all of us. You won't want to do that unless you know how it works now, would you? Shouldn't have freaked me out, dude. <laughs> You've all been given the advantages of few others, yet through poor moral decisions, you've used these advantages to selfishly further only yourselves at the expense of others. Well, today, this singular way of thinking will be put to the test. Today, five will become one with a common goal of survival. You are all connected. A cable runs through your collar devices. It can be pulled so tight that you will be decapitated on the mounted razors. The only way to remove the collar is with the keys from the glass boxes on the pedestals before you. However, if one of you moves to retrieve a key, the 60-second timer will begin for you. Okay. 